It has never been this much easier to fix uneven recording in Audacity. The traditional way of fixing those recordings by compression requires a bit of detailed understanding. Some people find that process difficult, so I will show the latest and easiest method. I have a piece of audio here, which is a pretty good audio recording, except certain parts sounds are relatively low. You can understand the gap between the sounds just by looking at the waveform. I will play it for a couple of seconds so that you understand what I am talking about. So, say someone wanted to start a new diet, but I, you know, I can't decide. Should it be Whole30? Should it be? Mm, maybe I don't know enough about them, and they go back and forth, and they just never decide. That's procrastinating. The overall volume level needs an increase, and I will normalize it. Before that, let me duplicate the track to compare it later. I will normalize the top track. To make it as loud as possible without any distortion, I will normalize it to 0 dB. So, say someone wanted to start a new diet, but I, you know, I can't decide, should it be Whole30, should it be Keto, mm, maybe I don't know enough about them, and they go back and forth and they just never decide. That's procrastinating. So you hear the difference when the speaker starts talking a bit softly. I will fix that issue in the second track. I will add a real-time effect to this track. I will show you where you can get this effect for free later. I will add a compress effect. There are some presets in compress. I will add the pop vocals preset. This preset makes the spoken voice pop to hear it comfortably. The audio is fixed now without doing any additional settings. Let's listen to it. Me too. So, say someone wanted to start a new diet, but I, you know, I can't decide. Should it be Whole30? Should it be Keto? Mm, maybe I don't know enough about them, and they go back and forth, and they. The effect has maxed out the volume level. I will decrease it by 2 dB from the gain slider. So, say someone wanted to start a new diet, but I, you know, I can't decide. Should it be Whole30? Should it be Keto? Mm, maybe I don't know enough about them, and they go back and forth, and they just never decide. That's procrastinating. Or deciding which workout to start with, you know, like, oh, should I do this, or should I do that? Or deciding which workout to start with, you know, like, oh, should I do this, or should I do that? Just start. Or deciding which workout to start with, you know, like, oh, should I do this or should I do that? Just start, right? Or trying to write a paper and can't decide. The varying volume level is fixed now, but another issue arises. The white noise or hissing noise has become a bit louder. I can fix this hissing noise problem by applying the noise reduction effect. I will find a place where I have only noise. I have found such a part. I will use the noise reduction effect quickly. I hope you understand how noise reduction in Audacity works, so skipping the detail. If you want to know details of noise reduction, I have some videos on my channel on those. I will apply a value of 6 on all these sliders. If the hissing noise is not too strong, a value of 6 works well for spoken words. Let's hear it a bit to check if the hissing noise is still audible. Let's take a couple that maybe more people can relate to. So, say someone wanted to start a new diet, but I, you know, I can't decide. Should it be Whole30? Should it be Keto? Mm, maybe I don't know enough about them, and they go back and forth, and they just never decide. That's procrastinating. Or deciding which workout to start with, you know, like, oh, should I do this? Or the hissing noise is gone, and we have got perfectly balanced audio. So where do we find this fantastic real-time effect? From Add Effect, go to Get More Effects link. You will be taken to an Audacity manual page. Find out MuseFX plugin suites from this page. You will get a MuseHub link on this page. Go to this MuseHub link. You will be taken to the MuseHub web page. You have to download MuseHub Helper from this web page. Download the MuseHub Helper for your OS. I have already downloaded and installed it. I will open the MuseHub Helper. MuseHub Helper has several tabs, go to the Effects tab. All the effects you find here are compatible with Audacity. As I have already installed Compress, I see a tick mark. You will see a Get button and download the effects you need. After downloading the effect, restart Audacity. You will then find all the effects under MuseFX. These effects work very well with Audacity, and you should take full advantage of it. Previously I made a video on how to fix the uneven sound problem using Audacity built-in effects. I will put a link to that video in the description.
So if you want to know how to fix this with Audacity built-in effects, please check that video. Thanks for watching and see you next.